Chapman and I'm here to tell you how I automated my chicken coop. There's a company called X10.com. They make little devices that uh, go th you plug into your household wiring. They will send a code over through your household wiring to these devices and whatever you have plugged into them, it will turn them on and off. What I did, I ordered this Smart Micros software and it ha they happen to have a special going on at the time. I got the, Mac, the software. This is the device that you plug into your computer, the USB port, and it broadcasts out over to this device right here, a two-way transceiver. So basically, you load the software in your computer, hook up the little black box onto your computer, and wherever you program into your computer, it will send wireless over to this device, which is plugged into a wall outlet, and this in turn sends a code across your wiring to your different devices that you have plugged into it. In my case, they had a special going on. I got the software. I got this PC transceiver. I got the two-way transceiver. And a two-pin appliance module. Now we're going to skip off here. What, I, what I've used here, there's a difference between this appliance module and a lamp module. In my case, I needed one of each. A lamp module has the option on it where you can dim or brighten a lamp. Since you don't want to do that with an appliance, such as if you plugged in your computer to this particular, to this particular device and accidentally did the uh, dim function, you're actually cutting voltage and you could burn up your device. So for my chicken door, I use this two-pin appliance module and for my chicken lights uh, in the coop, I will use this lamp module. And if I want to, I'll use another lamp module like this for the water heater. But like I said, I was able to get the software, the PC transceiver, the two-way transceiver, and I believe it was the two-pin appliance module that has special going on for fifty dollars. What they'll do is send you an email giving you a link on how to download the software and a verification code. Here I've already downloaded the software. This is the little doofer I showed you earlier that has the antenna on it. This is what your computer, your RC transceiver talks to that's plugged in the wall outlet. These will add, let you add these and name them wherever you want to. So I named this Chicken Door. This will be the coupe lights, and here, like I told you earlier, here's where you can dim them. Here I don't have that option. I do not want that option there. And here's the water heater. What I'm thinking about, I can actually put an incandescent bulb underneath the water pan and have that come on and off as I see fit. What I have here is, just for your demonstration, down here I have the chicken coop, the door, will open at dusk plus 15 minutes. This is so smart that once you get your loaded up on your computer, your computer evidently goes out on the internet and it knows what time dusk is. So if you have one of these little $15 wall timers that you can program in 15 minute in increments, you have to go out there periodically and change that because daylight, dusk, and dawn change. In this case, it's done automatically by the computer. So whatever dusk time is for today, plus 15 minutes, the door will go on. And I have it programmed for the door to go off at 9. I'll get into that a little bit later, why that is. Uh, chicken door, you put these in order. The water heater I got coming on at 3 a.m. The coop lights will come on at 4 a.m. at 25% intensity. At 4.05 it will come on at 50%. At 4.10 a.m. it will come on at 75%. 
at 415 it will come on at full intensity and it will go off at dawn. So what I'm doing is turning my coupe lights just gradually, instead of getting those ladies that real bright light, just turning up gradually over a 15 minute period. And at dawn, it'll go off. When the sun comes up, the coupe lights will go off. I don't need a light on there. The chicken door at dusk, plus 15 minutes, will go on, which in this case will shut the door. And there again, this off bit here, I'll explain a little bit later. And this is a typo down here, so I need to get rid of that. So I can just delete that, and there we go. Up here is my chicken door. I can click on this little green clock here. Down here it tells me turn on at dusk. I just deleted one of them. It takes care of that. I can go over here to my coupe lights. Down here is my programming. If I want to go over here at advance. Down here it gives me my dawn delay zero minutes I can change that to five minutes 15 minutes 10 minutes whichever up to looks like up to 10 minutes before or after dawn same thing with dusk I can change when it goes on or off be 10 minutes after dawn or 10 minutes before over here's my weekdays I can program it for Sundays just weekdays just weekends holidays uh, so basically I can got real good control and this will be my hot water heater and we'll pause right here and I'll take you over to the devices themselves here's a PC transceiver this is the low antenna it uses transmit to its here's the low antenna it uses to transmit to the wall unit this cable down here is plugged into the UP a USB port on the computer here. Here is a two-way receiver. I won't go into how you program these, but each one of these has a unique code so it knows which one it's talking to. So basically the PC transceiver communicates with this. The instructions doesn't say, but I assume you want this and the PC relatively close together. On the left you can see the gold lamp. For demonstration purposes I'm pretending that's my chicken coop light. It could also be my heater if I want to. I've got that plugged in the wall into a lamp module. In the middle there the power supply is plugged into the two pin appliance module. Power supply, appliance module. And to the right is my automated chicken door. We can turn on the coupe lights. There they came on in the morning at 25%. We can adjust that so as the time period goes on like we have automatic programming we can increase that or decrease it instead of waiting to 4 a.m. to do it I'm doing it manually right here and then when dawn comes off she goes and since it's dawn, we want our chicken coop is programmed to go up. Now this is why I was going to explain why I have this time to go off. The automated chicken coop, you might have heard that click, you have to energize the device to open it. So basically when you turn it on it opens and if I turn it on again it will shut the door. And now we're just saying it's now dusk. All the little ladies are back in the chicken and the automated chicken door. And now the ladies are in their coop and safe from predators. 
So there you go. That's how at the Lazy 7 we're planning on automating our chicken coop.